Hello, welcome to Earth Ray Healing. Today we're doing an activation uh, oracle session. And I was guided to go ahead and flip this because they were saying how I would have to tune in beforehand because it was going to be lengthy. And in order to not have to cut the video or have a lot of, uh, you know, dead air time. So I went ahead and did that. And I took some notes and the information, because they were saying it's more than communication, because we know the throat chakra is communication. And they were saying that it's more than that. This message, this activation is more than communication. This card actually says the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. Now, what was coming through was the number five, which, of course, the throat is the fifth energy center. But I was getting like five and five, five, five and movement also. But I was getting this... Uh, count to five before responding. So, and it doesn't even have to be five, but I was just getting this feeling of like stopping be before responding, like stopping thinking, stepping back before stepping forward in res responding to things, responding to people, responding to situations. Not to be like too hasty or make quick decisions or, um, yeah, maybe saying something you regret. So, I mean, this could be with, you know, uh, in, a, in a meeting at work. This could be an email or a text. This could be pers in person. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be your neighbor. But there is, a, there is a message here in how they put it was counting to, count to five before responding. So, yeah, I can see somebody like somebody saying something to you and you having sort of like an, an immediate response in your mind, like what you want to say. But something comes over you, you calm down. And it's not even like, it, it might not be a bad message. But whatever it is, there needs to be a step back in order to take a, a proper step forward. Now, the other thing that I was getting as I tuned into the throat energy center and this particular card and this activation is listening. Listening. Balance your talking and your listening. And hearing. Hearing. Actually hearing. Hearing the other person. Actually hearing maybe nature. Hearing the, the frequency that you're listening to. The music that you're listening to. And there's Something in this about how closely connected the ear and the throat are. Like the ear energy center and the throat energy center, they work together. So hearing, have, I'm, I'm hearing or I'm, I'm knowing rather to have an ear attunement have an ear attunement. So like an ear, an ear chakra activation. And then when I was also tuning into this, I was getting crystals. So like crystals to tune into and I'm, and it's more than just carrying them around. Like, we really have to cleanse. 
cleanse, cleanse the crystals, put them out in the sun, put them out, out in the moon, put them next to ones that like each other, that charge each other up. So the throat vibrates to blue. And so I was getting like blue lace agate, angelite, celestite, turquoise, amazonite. And then I was also getting to use the, use those with clear quartz right now for the, for, for, um, for activating your throat because I was getting like clear speaking, clear speaking, something about enunciating. I did bring out my blue crystal here too, when I was tuning in, I don't even know what what, what kind this is, but it's always been like a soothing stone and helps with the throat ear, to, tuning into the throat and ear. And so, yeah, con okay, so also I was getting connecting with blue, the frequency of blue. So through music, through visualization if you can visualize if you can't visualize just connect through the knowing of the frequency of blue you can also connect with the frequency of blue by the color blue so they're really trying to to um to 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 get to you like to make you understand how important it is to activate your throat chakra right now and I actually wrote down self-expression is needed for your spiritual growth. So for someone that is like feeling stuck right now on your spiritual path, maybe you're feeling like you're not connecting with spirit or you're just like in a stuck spot. I mean, sometimes that's just the way it is. Like if there's nothing wrong with that, but if this rings true to you, then it's the throat chakra. You have to express that's why they were saying it's more than communication. It's expression. Expression isn't always um, like talking. That's what they were saying. Like it's more than talking. And communication is actually more than talking also. That can be, you can communicate through art. You can communicate through dance. And that's what they're talking about. They're talking about self-expression. Self-expression is needed for your spiritual growth right now. So there's something that you're maybe missing that you need to do in order to get to that next step. What has been coming to you? And this isn't going to be brand new information for you. If this feels like it's brand new information to you and you're just like following along here, this probably isn't your activation. This is going to be like the whole time here. This is going to be, ah, yes, this is what I need. Yes. It's going to be confirmation. It's not going to be brand new information. Okay, so what else do we have here? So I originally just wanted two of these and two of these, but four of these came out and I was going to do some other cards, but I just decided to do these for reasons of space here. But we got, let's see, home. Home. Home is where the heart is. Home. We have an ending with 27 is a 9. An ending. Maybe there is an ending and that's why we need to express. And I'm getting like... I'm being told to look at this one too. Strength 44. Mm. This feels like um, support from home support from if you have a supportive family this that's what this is this is your family supporting you supporting your decisions supporting your you speaking up supporting your decision i'm hearing supporting your decision to leave if that calls to you so yeah there's a family element in here but i'm also feeling like this expression will feel like home. So, I mean, the throat, that's, I mean, are you, do you sing? Do you speak? Do you do public speaking? 
Do you need to activate your light language? Do you need to activate your soul tones? I feel like the soul tones are a little different than light language. Do you need to activate like just your voice, your, your actual voice? Start making noises with your voice. You'd be surprised how that helps you to talk, helps you to get your point across. So, like, just making like a, like a, different kinds of tones, different kinds of ways of using your voice. Do you maybe need to activate that within you? I'm coming back to singing again. They're saying somebody sings. Somebody sings. Somebody also plays um, um, instruments. Plays an instrument. Maybe somebody plays an instrument and sings. I'm getting different things now. And it's almost like you've been sort of messing around with it for years. But maybe now it's time. Maybe now it's time. Maybe what you do will help someone. Maybe what you do will help you to express, and then it helps you to eventually help others. Have courage, I'm hearing with this strength card. I mean, have courage. It's number 44 also. I'm seeing 555 five, five again with movement. Don't be scared, I'm hearing. Have courage. Don't be afraid of what, what's coming. Don't be afraid of speaking up. Don't be afraid of speaking up. Share this. Share this. Share this. I'm hearing this needs to be shared. Whatever this is, maybe it's something you need to tell someone. Maybe it's something you need to tell like a group of people. Maybe it's just, it's a song that you need to sing and get out there. So people can hear it. This needs to be shared. I feel like I want to make like vocal like tones, but I don't know how it will sound in the, <laughs> in the microphone. So, I mean, if you feel like doing that, then pause this video and do that. I, I mean, like, even if you can, it, you know, based on your surroundings or whatever, scream. Like there's a major vocal, um activation here. And that's, that's what they were talking about too. When they were saying it's more than communication, it's more than talking. Your voice activates something else. It activates your power. It activates your heart. It's, it activates something. And it's like, again, they're taking me back to, um, self-expression is needed for your spiritual growth because somebody is stuck and it's because you need to express. And it doesn't it doesn't always mean the same thing. Like it could mean you being in a room by yourself, like I said, screaming. It could be you talking to somebody, somebody that you trust. It could be you sharing something on social media, if that's your thing. Something needs to be like released, shared in order for you to like, it like breaks a block for you. It clears a blockage for you. And understand, again, whatever this is, it feels like home to you. That's going to mean so many different things to different people. But again, I am getting the, the, the family ties or friends that are like family. There is support. Again, with home and strength, I'm feeling like support. Because I'm seeing like pillars come out here and they are like your support. There's someone or like a group of someones that you can trust. And I'm, spirit is saying, we're here too. We're here too. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So we have Gaia Gateway Activation. I just got like chills. This says learning experiences, wisdom, transmission, earth intelligence. This is connecting with the earth, connecting with Gaia. 
I think if I remember right, this in the book is they're calling this another energy center below the earth star. And it's like connecting in with like the intelligence of the earth. And so it's like, there's this trust thing, trusting the process, trusting the earth, trusting cycles, trusting, um, trusting this expression, trusting this throat activation. Yeah, there's a lot in here. I'm feeling like inner earth beings also. And the inner earth beings, hmm. That's, there's so many different like theories and stories. And I am feeling like Lemurian energy here. So if, if that, like some, if that, if that, hmm. Like if you feel like you need to be like a, I don't know, a storyteller or something about like expressing something about Lemuria. Maybe it's Lemurian light language or something, but it, it's inner earth. I'm getting uh, Mount Shasta also out of, out of nowhere. Mount Shasta. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay. Um, okay. Solar light upgrade. Solar plexus. Inner fire. Willpower. Yeah, you're activating your power through the throat. This is like great central sun energy also. Sun energy. Connect with the sun for your power, for your recharge, for your clearing. Sun energy. It's like, yeah, this is, so sun and earth together in order for this throat to activate. Seeing what else I get here with the sun. I feel like there's something else with the sun. The sun. Inner fire. Oh, I'm getting candle magic. Candle magic? Do you do... Do you work with candles? Candle magic. Candle magic for the throat. Because I'm, I'm seeing like yellow candles and blue candles. Yellow candles and blue candles. Okay, we have sort of light. <laughs> These are similar in color. Similar in energy. Similar in fire. This is divine protection. Cords cut. Breakthrough energy. Yeah, cords cut. Cords cut from like what like why cords are cut from things that are no longer serving you from people that are no longer serving you from like past lives that are no, no longer serving you cords being cut from like ancestral stuff cords being cut from um anything preventing this throat activation preventing this expression breakthrough energy yes this is archangel michael energy so it's like saying, you are being protected during this. There is, yeah, there's like support and protection. Support and protection. And then we have, yeah, ancestral realm. Because that's where we're cutting. That's where we're cutting from. This doesn't feel like one of those like sessions where we're like, we're tuning into the ancestors. This is like your DNA is changing because you, you're um, you're not cutting off from them, but you're you've dissolved what, or you are dissolving what uh, what they couldn't. You're expressing something that they couldn't. Cords are being cut. Allow the cords to be cut. I'm hearing. I'm being brought back to the earth energy again, the Gaia energy. It's like invisible energy that the earth is. The divine energy that the earth 
is. And I'm being shown the crystalline grid of the earth. So maybe you do grid work, earth work, and there's something with the throat that you need to do before you continue your, your crystalline grid, earth grid work. Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, look at her. She's holding the earth. She's balancing and she's holding the earth. So someone's, someone definitely does uh, grid work here. And I'm hearing like, I don't know. I feel like somebody um, transmutes energy through their body into the earth or for the earth. But what I'm hearing, and take this if it resonates, if it doesn't, then just throw it away. But I'm hearing you do not need to use your own body. The earth knows how to transmute the energy. You move the energy. You do not need to bring it into your body to transmute it. Forever, for whoever that was for, it will make sense for. If it didn't make sense to you, then just go ahead and leave it. Yeah, you don't need to use your body, I'm hearing, to work with this energy for the earth. You're doing it anyway. You don't need to bring it into your body. It disrupts things in your body, makes things a little more difficult, makes things take longer, like takes longer for you to recalibrate or for you to cleanse or clear or align. But again, take that however that resonates for you. I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I have this little chakra deck here. And I'm just going to see, we have the throat and we have the solar plexus here. And then we have like this energy that is below the earth star these different energy centers. And I just want to see if there's another energy center that shows up that we are working with because the, the energy centers have to connect. They have to talk to each other. They have to communicate properly in order for the whole system to work. And I just want to see if we're working with another, possibly another energy center here. Whoa. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> we have the root and the sacral. It's all of the lower, it's all of the lower energy centers. So the throat is calibrating with the lower energy centers, the solar plexus, the sacral, the root, the earth star, beyond the earth star, which is the earth. So it's like we're calibrating, recalibrating all of those lower energy centers in order for the throat to work properly, in order for self the self-expression that is needed. So this sacral says letting go. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it is the first step towards success. And then we have grounding. Sink your roots deep, connect them to the heart of the earth. Yep. And we have red jasper and we have carnelian here. Look at that fiery energy there <laughs> holding up the throat. I'm just going to, I'm going to tune in here for a second and I'm just going to see if I'm getting anything else here. Yeah, I'm getting that if you are in your upper energy centers a lot, so your third eye, your crown, your soul star, we need to balance that with the lower ones. A balance, an alignment. Because it's like the lower energy centers are really, like they're vibrating right now. And this is for, like confirmation for someone who has been working on those lower energy centers also. Like you're... Yes, you're you're doing really good because they're they're vibrating together. 
some people it's like, yes, they're vibrating together. And then others need the message that we need to get them to vibrate together. And the way that you do that is more grounding things. I mean, those lower energy centers are more earthly, more, um, they have to do with this earth experience. The upper ones have to do with spiritual experience. And right now, that's okay. That's why they were talking about the throat also not being like what the throat normally is like spirit communication. That it doesn't feel like that's what it is. This is this is self-expression. Self-expression, and it has to do with these lower energy centers. And again, they're bringing me back to, it feels like home. So in other words, whatever this self-expression is or whatever you need to do is going to feel completely natural to you. It might be like a little bit of you getting having to get out of your um, comfort zone at first, but then you're going to be like, oh yeah, this is, this feels in the flow. Home and strength. Okay, so we're going to bring in codes here for your throat activation. And they are telling me that it is so important in order for this, any of this to work, like this throat activation, this whole session was the activation. As I've said before, it's the words that I'm speaking, the space in between the words, and the soul tones that I share. And this one, they're making it clear that you have to do your own expression also. So, you know, after the video or pausing the video and just making the tones, you know, making, oh, ah, na, 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 na. Just do those things to get it warmed up, get your throat warmed up. It doesn't matter what the actual expression is. If it's painting, if it's talking to somebody, if it's singing, if it's um, dancing, like it starts in this vocal area though. So the codes that I bring through are only part of your activation. You are activating you. So take a deep breath. They're having me ask you to make like a swirl motion in like at your throat area during this part. They are having me, I'm looking directly at this letting go, we're letting go, whatever no longer serves you, whatever is no longer serving you at this moment, there's so many things for so many people. Let it go. It is necessary to let go in order for this activation to take place. Take a deep breath. Hor datra kutukum. Okay, I do want to thank you so much for being here. I hope that that was helpful for you. And I will see you next time.